Every time I'm with somebody, I'm confusing him with you. Let's talk 22, guys. Sarah McTurnan has just come off stage uh, after her first run through, our first rehearsal for Ireland. We're going to talk about it. Um, so, Clara, let's talk about visuals, first of all, because it was very bright and colourful. Yeah, it has a pin-up uh, aesthetic. It's set like on a diner. Uh, you know, every element of a pin-up aesthetic is there, like the bandanas on the hair, the comic graphics on the uh, backdrop, uh, even the counter is there and the waitresses are there I like the backing vocalist and uh, it's really colorful the main colors are bright yellow bright uh, red green no not green um blue pink bubblegum pink yeah bu- bubblegum colors yeah. really it's very it's obviously very 50s retro yeah. inspired she's kind of wearing a, a beautiful like is it like a leather yeah, it's a like, leather dress it's a leather uh, red crop top and a leather uh, pencil skirt high-waisted till the knees and like very nice, very high, high heels. Um, is this the staging that we were expecting? It's similar to what we saw when she did the, I think the Irish version of Strictly, yeah. she did the first live performance of the song. Uh, is this the staging that you were expecting? Were you expecting something different? Um, to be honest with you, I was expecting something more similar to her official music video. Maybe something quite kind Cold of... beach. <laughs> <laughs> well, anything's possible. But maybe something more in that kind of style. But um, seeing the kind of 50s diner style, it actually looks quite nice on stage. It looks very sweet, very lovely. And Sarah and her backing dancers look really kind of like they're having fun on stage as they're kind of moving around. And it's just very sweet, is what I can say. That's the thing about this song. It is a sweet bubblegum type pop tune. I've always said it's it's a summer song. Whether this song is right for Eurovision, I'm still not sure. And I found the stage it may be a little bit underwhelming. Um, but I like the use of props. They've got like the 50s bar that they're using. Uh, one part of the song where she's kind of leaning over and having having fun with the with the backing vocalists who are all you know very 50s inspired. I think this might struggle in terms of qualification. I'm very sad to say that because it's been one that I've been listening to over and over again. It's a song that makes me happy. Uh, they've done what they should have done and tried to make the staging uh, very happy and poppy and very sweet. Yeah. You can't expect them to do anything else, but I still think this may struggle, and that makes me sad. My main issue with the staging is that, for me, the the music is really good. It goes, but it goes a different direction to what the staging is taking you. Um, it is, overall, a very happy staging, but I would, exp- I would have wanted something more innocent to go with the innocence of the song, because mm. it's a very innocent song everyone can feel identified with. Mm. We have to say that her vocals seemed good from what yes. we heard oh, here yeah. in the press centre, so uh, there's no doubt that the girl can sing. She's got a very unique, a very current voice yes. as well. Um, so yeah, nothing to do with Sarah's vocals. Um, we just think maybe the song, or I think maybe the song, isn't right for Eurovision yeah. this year um, compared to some of the other songs that we have. Do you think it's going to qualify, Jess? To be honest with you, I think it will struggle, and I think one of the biggest reasons for that is that it's in the number two spot and it's following a strong powerful song from Armenia so it could be overshadowed um, but um, Sarah's doing you proud all of our oh, Irish yeah. viewers so you should still be proud of her um, and who knows what's going to happen in a yeah. Eurovision semi-final but that's only what we think don't forget to go to the official Eurovision channel check out the uh, official rehearsal cl- rehearsal rehearsal <laughs> clip for yourself um, and then come back and let us know in the comments what you think otherwise give us a like on Facebook tweet on Twitter find us on Instagram See you guys.